He deserved it, brethren. He deserved it. Praise the name of Jesus. Somebody said, when I think about the goodness of Jesus, all he has done for me, my soul. Hallelujah to Not many times you hear the song cries out, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah comes from deep within. And even if somebody tell you to say hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God and let you feel it. From down within. Hallelujah to God. It's not accepted. It is not because somebody say hallelujah. You gotta say hallelujah. You gotta say hallelujah. Because it's a higher praise. Ancient power of the poem. Heaven and earth and working. What a mighty God we serve. Holy hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise his name. Praise his name. One more year of convention. This is my first year. Hallelujah, hallelujah to God. It's good to be here. Uh, the is now Sister Bailey when it comes to convention, she always, you know, send me a video to see what's going on in the church. But thank God that I'm in Jamaica watching the video I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Never know that the time would come. But from before God created me, He knew that this would be so. Praise the name of Jesus. And it's not by chance why I'm here about it. It's a divine appointment by God. Because when I, you know, my daughter decided to fight for me, I said, God, I don't really want to go here. How can I leave my church and leave my people? to be in America so God. And when I finally come to cry, I cry like a baby. I say, no, I don't want to go. But I could remember it's that God laid his hands on me and said, it's all right to go. It's work for you to do me. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's not what I say, but what God. And so I stand firm, hallelujah, in the day because heaven is my goal. And I stand firm on the word of God. I say yes, Lord, to your will, to your way. I say yes, praise the name of Jesus. I'd like to turn the Bibles over to Luke chapter 21. I bring my husband over the back here. Praise the Lord. Glory to God, hallelujah to Jesus. When he stepped in this evening, he said, How are you going to get to church? I'm so tired. You can see that you need to Brooklyn in the morning work and then come back in the evening. I said, he said, I'm so tired. I don't know what I can do. I said, Honey, what I'm begging you, please. What do you want to make it up, please? Just help me out. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know he's tired. He's very tired. Praise God because he works very, very hard. But I'm happy that he's here. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. You see, I'm not complete without him. And indeed, I am a one woman man. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. I remember there were times when I. You know, got this job at Jamaica, and you know, when I started working, there were folks that was, you know, going around because they want to deceive me. Praise the name of Jesus. I say I have too many in my life, and Jesus is the first one, and Mr. Flora is the second one, and I don't have no things for nobody. <laughs> Glory to God! Hallelujah! I am full. Glory to God! Praise the name of Jesus. Turn your Bibles over to Luke chapter 21. 
Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus.
Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. We are living in a shaky world. Can't you see? Can't you see? We are living in a shaky world. In Jamaica, it's shaky. In America, things shaky. In Australia, things shaky. Hallelujah to God. A shaky world. Glory to God. When we look at the tree leaves, they are shaking. Glory to God. Government shaking. Sea shaking. Oh, hallelujah to God. And even the church is shaking. Lord God, I shake you my heart. But I expect the world to be shaky. But I don't expect the church to be shaky. Oh, hallelujah to God. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Because the word of God declares that we don't stand fast in the liberty where we Christ and men are free. And be not encumbered in the yoke of bondage. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. But the case of church is so entangled in the affairs of this world. Then there is no heaven like minded anymore. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to God. But the word of God is calling us back to stand firm. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. And he not only said just stand firm, but he said stand firm in the fears. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Because you can stand firm outside of the truth. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah to God. You can stand firm against the fear. Yes. But the word of God says stand fast in the Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're living in a time when our people don't even know what they believe anymore. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. You believe the word that Pastor Pierre teach you or Pastor Dimitri until somebody has come and tell you something. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. That you become shaky. Glory to God. Jesus declares that just before his return, there will be distress of nation with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. And men hearts are feeling. Hallelujah to Jesus. Men's hearts are filled, filled for fear. And it's not that they fear God anymore because it's like, it's like people don't fear God anymore. Hallelujah. But the word of God declares that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. They fear that the economy is going to fall. They fear that they're going to lose their assets, their houses, their money. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. But they don't fear God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. The word of God said the power of the heavens will be shaken. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Glory 
glory to God. Praise his name. But when your heart fill when the powers of heaven will check, or when you stand firm, it's a question will your heart feel when the powers of the heaven will be shaken or will you stand firm glory to god hallelujah to jesus and the bible we learn of peter denies the lord three times three times glory to god hallelujah hallelujah to jesus hallelujah to god you think Peter wanted to do that? Hallelujah to Jesus. But he was fearful of the people that stood against Jesus Christ to crucify him. But Jesus telling him before the cock crow twice. You're going to deny me Christ twice. But Peter said, no Lord. No Lord. no Lord, no Lord, no Lord, hallelujah, I will stand with you, whatever comes me, I will not deny you, and even if I die, oh my God, I will stand with you, oh holy Jesus, oh holy Jesus, oh holy Jesus, Oh, holy Jesus. But when Peter was began to shake, I said, when Peter was began to shake, glory to God, it shook on Peter out the place. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, holy God. And so when Peter was questioned, do you know this man? He said, I don't know him. I don't know him. We're living in a time when people are afraid to say that they are Christians. The God knows is not afraid to say that I'm a God man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. A matter of fact, people boast when they are murderers. Oh yes. Oh yes. They boast how many men they kill. They are shut up. But at times the people of God fail to stand up and say that I am a child of God. And even in the church sometimes when it comes to testimony, how many people are willing to stand up in the church and give their testimony? How many? How many? How many people? Hallelujah to Jesus. I pray in the church to give the testimony. What about in the world? Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. There are times when so many things, Pastor D, can shake our world. Sickness can shake your world. Death can shake your world. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Broken marriage can shake your world. But when these things shook your world, what will you do? Will you stand firm? Hallelujah to God. Will we stand firm? Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Are we firm? Will we? Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. My husband is a builder, and I know that there are times when he's laying the block. He does not just get the raw marl and just throw it in the block. 
You have to mix them, what you call it, Marta, something. You have to mix the mortar with cement. Cement to hold. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. To give the man strength. Or else the blood's going to fall apart. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So none of us can stand firm without the word of God. You need the word of God. And this is a time when people don't have a time to read the word of God. Am I right? Get up in the morning, the first thing you do. Check your phone, I don't have it for you. Hold it and tap it over there. What message is there? Hmm? The first thing is a phone. Hallelujah. Before we can and say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For another day is a phone. Hallelujah. The message. The voice wrote. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. And somebody can tell me about much more of them. Hallelujah to God. I judge. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. But no time for the word. And the word of God tells us that we cannot be clean except we apply the word of Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We need the word of God to set us. For us to stand firm that when the deceivers come, hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Because there are many deceivers that are coming out in the world. Bible said they shall deceive many. But I'm imploring you tonight to stand firm in the word of God. To stand firm in the faith. To stand firm in his grace. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah church. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. You see to, to stand firm in a shaky time, so we need to be disciples. That means followers of Christ. Who stay close to Jesus, know his word, understand his word, obey his word. These are the key points. Praise the name of Jesus. Stay close to Jesus. Stay close to Jesus. Having an Intimate. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. An intimate relationship with Him. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You see, sometimes when the breeze is blowing very hard and you try to stand, and you try to stand. Even when you spread your legs apart and you're trying to stand, the breeze might just blow you away. But you've got to hold on. Hallelujah to Jesus. When the breeze tries to blow you away, you've got to hold on to something and to hold on to someone. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to God. And you have to hold it tight. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. In Psalm 62, verse 1, the word of God declared, He only is my rock. And my salvation, it shall not be moved. The tree I go, holy God, because I experienced three hurricanes in 
in Jamaica. There's Gilbert Ivan and Dean. Oh my God. Dean and Ivan were the most dangerous hurricane. Oh, Dean and Ivan. Gilbert was nothing compared to a category four hurricane and a category five because Gilbert was just category three. And I've seen some great trees uproot. And I've seen some beautiful house torn down. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Because they could not withstand the storm force wind. It was too much for them. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. But I've never seen a rock that is grown and move. A Christ, a solid rock. Oh, hallelujah. I said, Christ, a solid rock. I stand on all of the ground. It's sinking sand. That's why my heart is filled and nothing less. Oh, worship the Lord Church. 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 You see, the unshakable rock, which is Jesus Christ, he assured his disciples that Lord. Lo, he said, Lo, I am with you always. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. There are times when the hurricane rages in our life. And the storms, they blow, my God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Rough seas. Hallelujah. And it seems like there is no end. And somebody said, we did may endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. But the night at times can be very long. When you call out help, Lord, it seems like he's gone or he's sleeping. But my Bible tells me that Jesus Christ will never leave you. Church, I said he'll never leave you. No matter what circumstances you face, he will never leave you. Leave Will he forsake you? The unshakable rock said, Stand. Stand, Pastor. When the brethren reject you, stand. When they don't listen to you anymore, stand. And it seems like all the preaching and praying is going nowhere. Stand. Hallelujah. Stand firm. Jesus, 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 Jesus. When there's pain in your body and you can't understand, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray at night and I pray at day. And somebody said, I know what prayer me prayer. Oh, my God. Jesus, and the more your prayer is the more 
worship God. Just worship God. Just worship God. That's what they're here to do. So the people around this area can know that there is a God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to the God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise God. God will never leave you. Hallelujah to Jesus. When the world is shaking around you, I say God will never leave you. Because in Matthew chapter 18 and the 21st, the Bible tells us that where two or three are gathered, touching anything in his name, he said, I'm not beside him. I'm not behind. I'm not before, but I'm right in the middle. Jesus is the middle man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, Jesus is the middle man. Paul wrote to the Philippians church. In Philippians 4, verse 1, he said, Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and my long for, my joy, he said, stand fast. Because he knows that things will come, and it's going to come to shape your world. Hallelujah. But it says, stand firm in the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Not on the government. Not on your family. Not on the pastor. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. But he said, stand fast, firm in the Lord. My dearly beloved, it is our desire for you to be saved. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. It is our desire for the church to be saved. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Did you know that it is possible to be a believer but far from God? Did you know that it is possible for you to be a believer but far from God? The Lord once said through his prophet Isaiah concerning his chosen people, these people draw near. <laughs> Hallelujah. With your mouth and honor me with your lips. But have removed your hearts. You sing praises. Come to church. Say you worship or you praise. But it's just something else. Be Lord and pray. It's something else. Because once you are leaving. Dealing government, for a matter of fact, some people are not even in anymore. There comes a time right now where people don't even reverend God anymore. They're not leaning anymore. They're not kneeling on their knees anymore. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. I can understand with those people the arthritis. What you see for me, who is young and strong, but I tell you. We must get down on our knees and pray to the Almighty God because Jesus Christ knelt on his knee and he prayed to his Father. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Draw near with your mouth 
Sometimes there is no street light. So there is a street dark. And I would see, I would watch that in that night. Before, gone before his wife. And his wife tumbling, tumbling in the lights. And one time I called him, I said, come here. How could you have your wife? And you are ahead, way ahead of your wife. And your wife is behind. I said, your wife fall down, how you know? I said, you should be behind that if your wife fall, you catch her up. You recognize there that there was no intimacy. Glory to God, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to God. And so it is with many of us. We say we know God, but there is no intimate relationship. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to God. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. These people have good theology. But their heart was not attached. There was no intimacy, none at all. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. They go to bed and they sleep like sisters and brothers. No little chokes on the jaw. No say, Lord, I love you. Oh, my God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to God. Oh, Praise the name of the Lord. You forget when you fall in love with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God is saying repent tonight. Get back to your first love. Holy Jesus. Glory to God. Our pastor D touched up that last night. I said, God, that's my message. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. And when you see these things are happening, the eyes is on somebody else. Glory to God. When you fall out of love, the eyes is on somebody else. And when you fall out of love with Jesus Christ, your eyes is on the devil. And so the word of God says you commit spiritual adultery. 
You have a lot of adulterers and adulterers in the church, you know. You know? Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus called us to be his bride. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. He couldn't have expressed any more intimate relationship than he expects than that. When you're in a relationship with him, you are saved. When I get married, I get married for security, you know, and love. Where's my husband? Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. When you're in an intimate relationship with Jesus, you're safely secured. Comprehensively covered. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. We're living in a divorce world. And the more divorce you can find, the most divorce you can find. Pastor Peter, tell me about it. You're a marriage officer. It's right in the church. Lord have mercy. I said something is wrong, but not with the Bible. He also said in verse 5, 
What iniquity? What iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone from me? And I walk after vanity and being we're living in a thin world. And the word of God tells us that man at his best state is altogether vanity. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Do you remember when you first received Jesus at your Savior? It's like he was on cloud nine. Two. Brother Devon, you remember? Hallelujah to Jesus. I'm clothed and I couldn't come down. No prayer meeting this you. No Bible study this you. No rain stop you. No, 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 no snow stop you. Praise the name of the Lord. When I usually go to school and study, as I put down a book, I've gone to church. Because I need to know his word. And I know without his word I can't stand firm. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. None of them miss me. Praise the name of Jesus. None of them. Nowadays, can't even stand the preacher. Because every word that the preacher preach. They're throwing word at me. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. And because the preachers want to please the people, they compromise the one. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. 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 No one changes everything has changed. Prophets have devoured soul. That's what the Bible says in Jeremiah 2. Priests violate the law. Brothers are vile, raving hoods, praying on every woman in the church. Princes shed blood and destroy souls of faithful men. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. False prophet in Ezekiel 22 and 23 and 30. Hallelujah to Jesus. False preachers and prophets, they rob the poor. They oppress the needy. And they say, God says. <laughs> and what is this, yes, Pastor? Everybody a prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, hallelujah to Jesus. What a prophet prophecy is accurate, and it just don't tell you that something good is going to happen, it tells you exactly what is going to happen. Praise the name of Jesus! Hallelujah to God! Hallelujah to God! Hallelujah to God! Hallelujah to God. But the casual people are so desperate for my word. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And I don't want to think that somebody said to them, they said, mm-hmm, this is a prophet. And sometimes the first thing they tell you is that your neighbor are trying to kill you. And they say because their neighbors, their neighbors are at war. And I think they say that's this one is here in front of But I'm here to tell you that if you if you want to stand firm in, in, in the Lord, you have to forgive your neighbor. You have to love your enemy. You have to love your brother. And those that despise will use you and say all manner of evil against you. You have to love them. Praise the name of 
Jesus. In Ezekiel chapter 22, God said that he's seeking a man that will stand in the gap between for the land. And he searched and he searched and he searched and he couldn't find a man. Is there a man tonight? Is there a man? Is there a woman tonight? Hallelujah. That God can depend on you. Hallelujah to Jesus. To stand in the gap for the people like Moses and Joshua. Is there a man tonight? Hallelujah to Jesus. When the world around is shaking. I'm saying to you tonight, stand up in the face. Because your labor will not be in vain, but bless you. Hallelujah. Shall we bless the Lord, everybody? Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Everyone stand to your feet. Bring it Draw near to God. God has challenged us tonight to stand firm. God has called us to change our ways. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure glory. Lord, I know. Try the truth. Try the truth. Convention is 
where God is calling us to change some ways in our lives. As you listen, as I listen to the word of God, I can hear that there's so many different types of wind that have blown into our lives to try to shake us and break some people in this house. But this second call, I'm calling for all of those that have felt this wind that has blown to try to destroy you. Your walk has been challenging. If your walk has been pushed to the brink, I want to pray with some people tonight. I want to call you to come because we want to pray with you. If you've gone through the winds of broken relationships, if you've gone through the winds of many different situations within your lives, I'm asking that you come. Because God is calling us on this first Monday night of convention. That he wants that intimacy to come back into our lives.